They will live as if they were in an interplanetary spaceship. They will eat, sleep and train as if they were real astronauts. They will feel as if they were on Mars, but they'll be sitting in Moscow. Starting next June, a crew of six, including two Europeans, three Russians and one Chinese, will participate in the first full-duration simulated mission to Mars. To mimic a real future mission to the Red Planet as accurately as possible, Mars 500 will develop in three stages. 250 days for the trip to Mars, 30 days to explore the surface, and 240 days for the return journey. Conducted by Russia's Institute of Biomedical Problems, together with the European Space Agency, this 520-day isolation test is the culmination of an experiment that began in 2007 with a short 14-day simulation and continued in 2009 with a successful 105 days test. The, experiment, uh, the experiments during the 105 days were primarily on the medical effects on the man, that is, in the psychological and physiological fields. Stress, linked with cardiovascular problems, affects on the immune system. Of course, the cooperation and coexistence of people and dietary aspects play a large role too. Apart from the technical challenges to be met, Mars 500 will be a real test to human endurance. Completely isolated, away from family and friends for at least one and a half years, and in an unfamiliar environment, how long can the mind and the body resist? Answering questions such as this will advance our scientific knowledge on factors such as stress, immunity or hormonal behavior, which are crucial to prepare real astronauts for future long-duration missions to the Moon and Mars. The 11 candidates of this study started their mission training in February 2010. After a tough selection procedure and a screening process similar to that used in astronaut selection, the six final participants will have to deal with tasks similar to those they would have on a real space mission. Maintenance, scientific experiments, daily exercise, and even solve simulated emergency situations when they occur. And thanks to the cameras installed in each of the rooms, their psychological, medical and physical reactions will constantly be monitored. Of course, we still need a lot of such studies, both on Earth and under different conditions, like on the ISS, which will in any case be the first step for manned space exploration, and which is an ideal environment for the preparation of such flights. This crew might lack the glory and the feeling of the real space missions, but their contribution to space medicine will be invaluable. And the first humans to walk on Mars will surely remember these pioneers.